So how do you think a zombie would look with a facelift? I mean, honestly, with the rotting flesh and everything. Well, you know how when really old people get facelifts, uh -huh. nothing really changes except their mouths just like widen. Ooh, yeah, everything looks really stretched out and ugly, mm. like an old PlayStation 2 game. Ooh, shots fired. I'll say that, and I love the PlayStation 2. Yeah, well, why do you ask? Well, because it looks like Capcom has a pretty decent plastic surgeon in the house, because they're bringing Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but oddly enough, not PC. Not too sure why on that one. Well, isn't it the first time that these games are going to be updated, like ever? Uh, mm -hmm. All that's left now is really Resident Evil 3 and Veronica Code, or Code Veronica. Code Veronica. Code Veronica. Yeah, the official name there. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, those are kind of like their last two mainline ones that they have to go, but who knows? They probably have those in the pipeline eventually. Hilariously enough, though, that this is like the fifth time that Resident Evil 4 has been ported onto another platform. Dude. Leon S. Kennedy, he's gonna look good. Mm-hmm, and split between the GameCube, the Wii, the PlayStation 2, the PC, the Xbox 360, the PC again, and now the next two consoles, the man really gets around. Yeah, he does. <laughs> These games will be releasing year-round. Mm -hmm. year so round. Resident Evil 6 is releasing on March 29th, with five coming in over the summer, and four trailing behind all the way in the fall. It's kind of like interesting that they're going in this descending order in terms of development and porting. Yeah, it's probably a hype to the once more remastered four. Oh, hey, that's a rhyme. Slam poetry, <laughs> right on. Oh. I mean, they might be going all in on four since they're... Resident Evil 6 was like the most recent one, mm -hmm. came out around two, three years ago now. So they'll probably have less work to do in order to bring it up to snuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Like they only have to touch up on a few textures here and there, maybe change the lighting around a little bit. But, I mean, with Resident Evil 4, that came out, I think, man, 10 years ago almost. Wow. And so they'd have to, like, work on upscaling the resolution, the textures, throw some aliasing onto there. Because, I mean, let's admit, original Resident Evil 4 was, like, literally rough around the edges. <laughs> do you think that they're going to do it all at once then? Like, they'll have to break up teams to work on each individual, individual game to give more to 4, since it's later on in... Fall, I mean, to the others. probably, yeah. Ever since Capcom started going nuts with like remasters, gotta remaster everything, they've probably got separate teams dedicated to just remasters in general. I mean, either way, I'm excited to see more footage soon. There's actually a team of two guys that are traveling around Spain right now working on completely retexturing all of Resident Evil 4, like going to where the original textures were taken from as photos and putting them into the game. So it'll be interesting to see what Capcom can do like in-house with their own development studio. Yeah, I've actually seen those in, uh, the images. They're incredible. Oh, I yeah. was surprised that that was actually a game. <laughs> um, you would actually need a pretty strong computer to run that thing, especially if you wanted to record it or any Ooh. of it at all. Oh, Speaking yeah. of which. Ooh, transition. Yeah, hey. Forge just recently went into a new uh, open beta for their new capture program. Ooh, for gameplay and everything? Well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> and, and this is Forge on PC, and it's a relatively new program as well, with the popularity of highlight videos and like the new WebM format that's being used on the internet right now. Forge wanted to create like a perfect program for capturing high definition, but short gameplay videos. Yeah, they only last from like five to 30 seconds long. It's not long. Yeah, so I feel like they're following that trend that consoles are doing right now, where you can just click a few buttons, which Still don't know how to do on my Xbox. Nice job. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, you, you're probably going to be stuck fiddling around with your Xbox for a while because as of right now, the, de the developers of Forge have stated that they don't have any intentions of bringing it to consoles. So better get good, Scrub. Well, do they really need to? I mean, Xbox and PlayStation already have a similar feature. Oh, OK, OK, that's true. But it does look like they're trying to refine recording on a PC and offer like a better alternative to the notorious Fraps and unregistered Hypercam 2. Yeah, thank god. Now, <laughs> the way it works is it's run, or it runs in the background and only starts when it has some sort of game running ahead of it. Which so. is really convenient since, you know, that way surely no one will record themselves fiddling around with MS Paint drawing who knows what. Yeah, and <laughs> the only games that you can record with are uh, worth their program specifically are ones on their Forge checklist or master list. Oh, so okay. I don't think MS Paint is going to be on that. Hearts have just been broken around the world, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not the perfect program, exactly. What a surprise. Well, it, it gets better. 
you can only upload videos onto their website and not Twitter or YouTube. Yeah, well, it's only in beta, so maybe they'll expand that in the future, but we can really only hope. <sighs> if only I could hope. But are you eager for more news on Resident Evil and anything else viral? Then like our page and subscribe. But um, tish. <laughs> Bye. West Side, y'all. <laughs> you keep doing the West Side thing. Are we allowed to? <laughs> I don't know.